Hello and welcome. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Uh, if you are joining in for the first time, this is an entertainment analysis show that does it better than any other, if I do say so myself. And we basically analyze all the hot topics and bring in amazing talents for you, probably your faves as well. So um, when I say we, I mean if I should, well, I mean, well, actually more. But we're usually three on this table, but today it's just Ife and I. So it's going to be like an Ife. Thing Square thing, on. yeah. It's so, all love out here. Today. I'm telling you. So yeah, yeah it's good. gonna be Phil Maya and Phil Oshike today. Yeah. But I think we're gonna be joined with amazing people throughout mm. the show, mm. really. So yes, yes, we're not yes, gonna, yes. It's not, we're not gonna miss this, the third party too much, right? Mm. No, we wouldn't. Anyway, how are you though? Has I'm has great, it been? I'm great. I'm great. I'm, I'm feeling, feeling the style today. Actually. O'Shea, O'Shea, yeah. Big shout out to men like Classy Kengen. Yes, he actually gifted to me. This See free promo. Wedding, wedding, wedding. Uh -huh. Yes, that's what you get when so you give your guys. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you didn't have to pay me, you didn't have to see, you know, but it made me look good. So, big shout out to that guy. Yes, that guy. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, so are you ready for today's episode? Like, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling excited. I've seen the stories, and mm -hmm. I think, yes, some buzz bulls are coming. Some buzz bulls are coming. They might all call. We are all smiling now. I hope we don't be at the same time. Okay, well, let's um, fill the viewers in for the stuff that we have packed up today. So, the first story that we're discussing is on the entertainment manager and executive, Jada Pollock, has called a troll who described her as Whiskey's baby mama the manager of the afrobeat star had shared a picture of the singer's poster of his vogue interview as she applauded the level of success he has attained a fan of the self-proclaimed star boy who has no idea of the relationship between the singer and pollock other than the fact that they were co-parents wrote in the comment section that she is a, she's been a supportive baby mama asked by the fans ignorance pollock replied that the term baby mama does not apply to her mm. Uh, and I totally agree. So the first thing I did when I saw this was to go and Google her. Because, yeah, no. yes, we all say, yeah, Whiskey is baby mama. We know she did a lot for Whiskey, such as a collaboration, One Dance. She was the brain behind One Dance. She was the one who hooked Whiskey up with um, Drake for One Dance. And, you know, a host of others. Then Mia Pia, or Pia Mia, mm. what's her name? Mia Pia, right? Mm. Yeah, she's, she's also the brain behind Mia Pia. She actually brought her out into the limelight mm. and she's worked for Gucci as well mm. do you understand so she's actually a big deal in her right. own lane right. she gets so whiskey is actually even very lucky to That's have her it. in mm. this corner because she's well connected she's been in the in industry for way longer than whiskey for for all you care way longer because that industry uh, dates back to I think 2008, 2000, 2007, 2008. Whiskey got popularity, you know, after his first album in 2011. So yeah, this is somebody that has been in the industry way longer than you. She's met a whole lot of people. Yeah, she was, she was, she, she, she grew up in America. Mm. She moved to the UK. Mm -hmm. So you know that those connections cannot be. So yeah, Starboy things. Uh, exactly. I'm not even surprised as to how you're bringing us facts and figures because mm. this is your fave and stuff. Mm. But I mean, I hear everything you're saying, and I agree. Mm. But is a baby mama not somebody that has a as child? A baby for, and that is a mama. That <laughs> <laughs> like, you so know, like, So even if she's, you know, old, a lot of like, people tell it to be very derogatory. Because you know what I what I saw is that you have a child for someone, yeah, but you guys are not in a relationship. I you're just, is, and then that's what you call a baby mama. But then if you're in a relationship and you yeah. have a child and you're not, we are even though you're living together, cool. you're committed. Yeah, and we're cohabiting, yeah, exactly. we're going to get married, so maybe you know, not, you yeah, you can't term use anymore. that term, yeah. yeah. So the difference between baby mama and mama baby. <laughs> if I'm allowed to say that, what's, the, what's she, their son's name? She's Mama Zion. Zion. Mama Zion. Hey, she's not baby mama. Yeah. She's Mama Zion. You get and they're it. together. Right? And they're together, and they have a perfect. You know, sometimes you see. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. At least for the gram, it mm. looks like a perfect relationship. You know, you see Whiskey walking into a room, and you see her behind him making the video, doing all of those things. Not your regular would do that too. The girls that are behind you making your video to your success, they are the ones you should keep on in your corner. Do you oh understand? Gosh. Yes. Because they are the ones that like to see you walk into greatness. Mm. Do you understand? Not the ones that want to be there when the greatness is happening. Oh, they want to walk side by side. You know, yeah, I know she, you're she, very passionate about she this. Does, she does a job as a manager. As a, as as a baby whisk, mama. Whiskey actually put out a, a tweet sometime last week. 
It said you would know a good woman by the way she takes care of a child. Yeah. I don't know if anyone saw that. Yeah, we all And yes, it. and um, I think it was all, it was talking about her because if you see, even his documentary with YouTube, um, his mini doc or his, you know, a day in the life yeah, of yeah, whiskey and all that. Mm -hmm. I remember I, I watched everything and you can see the way she was with the kid, you know, when whiskey was trying to get interviewed and Zion was making noise, you know, she'd be the type to come. Zion, come, come. She picks him up. She goes away. You know, no stress. Can so I, just I think put when a it was disclaimer? there, I like a pretty, pretty lady. We're not like no stress. Hello. That's Let me just put a disclaimer. If you guys are watching this for the first time, this is the first time if it has been this diplomatic, positive about somebody's story. And it's only really because this person is whiskey. No. Because best believe if we try the story with David Do. You would have no, found no, a way no, to no. chat twist it to make it look know, like. You should know that Come I'm on, very excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. You should know I'm very positive when it comes to Babai Madi. Eh? Babai Madi to use to try now. <laughs> I can't with you. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I mean, I think she needs to say what she wants. To, she can say what she wants to say. But for me, my my opinion on this is that it's, I think it's just semantics and like language, right? Mm. If you own the word like, like bitch, for example, it depends on how you say it. You know, you can use it as a derogatory thing. I can use it as a, like, you know, I stand for myself and all of that. So I think that's how I see baby mm. mama. Like, I can call myself that and it's it's a positive thing. Like, mm. I have a very good relationship with the person I have a baby with. Or it could just be that that's all I am. I'm like a baby mama. It's a condescending tone. So I think it's really how you see it. But I think everybody understands where she's coming from. And then from, I also is, think that it's also allowed for women to decide what they want. Now, I've met a girl who actually told me, she told me to my face that, look, I don't mind getting pregnant for you, right? But I just want the child. Mm. I'm not going to be in a relationship and all that. And I said, me, I know do. Go find what we we'll do. Do you understand? So yeah. the ladies are actually looking for that. Exactly. Okay, so let's move on to another interesting one. A Nollywood actress, Jemima Osunde, has said that a spouse should come first in a person's life. Taken to her Twitter page, the um, physiotherapist turned movie star weighed in on the trending topic of who should be considered as a man's real family, his wife and children, or his mother and siblings. In her words, no one is asking you to betray your parents or siblings. All we are saying is when it comes down to it, your significant other is your primary family. That's your person, especially in a case as this where the said parents and sibling are clearly wrong. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting yeah, one. Yeah, very interesting. And I wish Qu um, Quincy was on this table. Yes, and very big shout out to, um, yes, because he was of the, the opinion. Day. Yeah. Yeah, and um, big shout out to the parents that actually, you know, instill in you that, look, the moment you get married, forget me. Mm. Your wife, your kids are your primary. I know my mom says that to me. Like, she forget said, completely? She tell, yeah, like, no, 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 of course, you yeah. can never forget them completely. Mm. But they'll say, but what I'm by, so it's not for you. Mm. Do you understand? All the things we're telling you is not, is not, is not for me. It's actually for your immediate family because they will come first. She would tell me that before you give me a hundred thousand, you'd have given your immediate family a million naira. Do you understand? Those are parents that actually understand and which, and I think they understand more because they see the sacrifices that he entails to raise a family, I mean, especially also, in their days. I mean, does it also just make sense? like you leave the family that you're under and they so decide to make another family? one so if so you want to make another one why won't you just be responsible if it is just family you want that? why don't you just stay in that you understand one what i'm trying to say like it's not that deep it's just um, it's just commonsensical but and i, I like think... to have follow-up tweet where she was like is it that people are just deliberately trying to not understand her or you want to just treat your wife like crap i think there's a lot of conversations that need to be ha had around how we view our spouses and I guess because of this conversation around Megan and and um, and Harry, and Harry yeah. it's more about the man protecting the woman. But there's also conversations around the woman also protecting the her man. husband mm. from the family. I think each couple needs to do that. Mm. Like you have to have, there cannot be too much over familiarity in my opinion. Like there's some things that they shouldn't even be able to say to my husband. I should be able, want to be able to liaise that that conflict or protect my husband from certain things and. All of that. So I, I don't know why that is rocket science, to be very honest. Um, but I agree to everything that she said. And if you don't agree, you can let us know sure. on the numbers that sure. should be cutting across sure. the screen or on social media. But I remember... I